And welcome to First Coast News at 11. I'm Heather Crawford. And I'm Anthony Austin. We're following some breaking news right now on Jacksonville's north side. And that is where JSO tells us that a two-year-old little boy has been shot. We want to head right out to First Coast News. Julia Janae, who is live there on the scene. Julia, what have you learned? All right, now we're on West 71st Street. We are in front of the home where I just saw three crime scene units leave this area. Of course, that child right now, they are fighting to make sure they save his life. He is suffering from life threatening injuries from that gunshot boom. Here's some video of the scene when it was more active earlier today. This is a call that police got around seven o'clock today. They said they responded to a child shot rushed here to find that parent with the child. They say only the parent and the child were in the home. No other children were in this home and Sergeant Ford with JSO says they are still investigating exactly what happened, but they say at this time it appears this was accidental. This is the second shooting of a child we've had in the last several days. Um, after watching this news story, if you own a gun, if you are uh, possessing of a gun, make sure that gun is safe and stored and secured and that you operate that firearm with uh, safety and, uh, and care and concern for that gun. Sergeant Ford told us today that this is the second child shot in the last few days. So those words of um, warning to parents is something he says definitely take seriously. We're just a few steps away from the Trout River, a place that you would think would be a hazard for a small child, but just hard to imagine that that hazard came from inside the home. For now, reporting live from West 71st Street, Julia Janae, First Coast News on your side.